Our body is blessed with a natural immunity and so does our mouth in the form of saliva. Saliva protects our teeth and our gums for various infections and various problems. But have you ever thought that why women suffer more dental problems compared to the men? Well, this is the main difference, which is the saliva composition or the saliva of a male is very much different to the saliva of a female. My name is Swati Man. I am a dentist and my topic for you today is this difference, which is the difference in the saliva of a male and a female. We are all aware of the importance of saliva. It acts as a lubricant, so it keeps our oral cavity, our mouth moist and prevent our mouth from getting dry and prevents infections. It has lots of mineral content, which makes our outer shell of enamel stronger and also helps in preventing cavities formation by remineralization of enamel. It has various natural antibodies which are present and it fights against lots of infections and prevent any soft tissue problems in the mouth as well. So we know that the saliva is a very, very important component for our healthy mouth. Out. But we are here going to talk about the difference between the male saliva versus female saliva, which makes the female mouth more susceptible to have dental problems compared to a man. The first major difference is the quantity of the saliva, also called as the salivary flow rate. The salivary flow rate, stimulated or unstimulated, is much higher in a male compared to the female, which means a male will secrete a more amount of saliva compared to the female. This is because of the, the physicality, that means the way the male body is. The size of the salivary glands, the two salivary glands, which are the major salivary glands of the mouth, are the submandibular salivary gland, which is present um, in the mandible, in the lower jaw, and the parotid salivary glands, which are present in the upper jaw. So these two glands are much bigger in male compared to the female, hence leading to the more quantity of the saliva in the male compared to the female, hence giving more protection and less chances of dry mouth in the male compared to the female. The second major factor is the pH level. A standard pH level of a mouth is somewhere between 6.2 to 7.6. We all know that if the pH level of a mouth drops down and it goes somewhere below 6 or 5.5, it creates an acidic environment inside the mouth, hence leading to more karyogenic bacteria, leading to more erosion of enamel, more sensitivity and dental decay. Several studies have shown that the pH level in the mouth of a female is lower, much lower, and more variable compared to the male. Because the female goes through various hormone changes, mainly during puberty, during pregnancy, during uh, menopause, during the menstrual cycle, and mainly the female who has some issues or who have some irregular cycle pattern, uh, the, the regular monthly cycle pattern, they have more irregularity in the mouth with respect to pH as well, which means more acidic environment inside the mouth, leading to more damage causing bacteria and more erosion cavities, etc. inside the mouth as well. So that natural acidity of our, our mouth is responsible for causing more decay in a female's mouth compared to the male mouth. Another major factor is the buffering capacity of the saliva, which means the natural capacity of the saliva to neutralize the acid production or the acidity inside the mouth. Naturally, the buffering capacity of a female saliva is lower compared to the male saliva, and that goes significantly lower during the late pregnancy, menopause, and hence leading or making the woman more susceptible or vulnerable to the dental problems, especially during pregnancy and menopause. So these are the very natural differences, which of course we can't change because this is what naturally we've got. But there are a few changes that we can do to our lifestyle that can help us in stabilizing our oral condition and that can help us in taking the control of our oral health. Number one suggestion will be the use of xylitol because we know xylitol has got the great dental benefits. So having some xylitol right after your food, right after your meal, all the use of xylitol-based chewing gums are quite beneficial because the way the chewing gum works, it stimulates the production of saliva and hence it increases the quantity of your saliva and hence providing more lubrication to your mouth. Use of more alkaline food for your body, which also acts in the favor of your mouth as well because 
alkaline food means the fresh fruits and vegetables that means the cheese so fresh fruits vegetables and the healthy diet improves your gut health so improved gut health means having a better quality of the saliva which helps in fighting against various dental problems another thing which i would not underestimate is the regular visits to your dentist so that they can check your teeth regularly and make sure that if there are any problems they can deal with that immediately regular visits to your hygienist will be very important because your gum health is extremely important by getting rid of plaque and tartar will be quite beneficial in maintaining a good oral health and of course a following a good strategy at home for cleaning your teeth and looking after your mouth in the form of regular brushing and flossing will be extremely important as well so we can see these changes are really small and these changes will take us a long way you may not be able to see the immediate result of what you are investing in your oral health it will take up to a year or so to show you or to really reflect the changes in the mouth but this is the right direction and this is the right drive towards getting a healthy mouth so i wish all the women all the best thank you